We got our van. We got our van. We got our van. How will we know when it's full, you ask? Well, there's two different ways. Check this out. First, we have a gauge. And Smazzy. second, look at this. Open this drawer. And look, that's our fresh water tank. We can watch it fill. And, and, and shoes. This is a super secret shoe hideaway here. Like that, the long awaited event of the Vagabond oh, van. Sun popped out. Ay, ay, ay. You know what? We're gonna have to put that awning out later, or now, or later. We'll show you the outside later. First, we're gonna take you inside the van, but first, there's a disclaimer we had a very short amount of time to transfer stuff from the <laughs> rental van into our new van, and it's kind of a mess. So, the toxic really not a mess anymore. Okay, you spent all day making it camera ready, but. Yeah. In the last two days it was, so we we had everything we had from our previous van and we packed it all into a rental 12 passenger Ford Transit. It was in boxes and bags and not marked and drove forever. We got to George to Humble Road shop to pick up the van and and we had an hour and a half to take everything out of that van, out of the boxes, put it in this van so I could get the rental van back and drop it off. So we just had to kind of stuff things in. We kind of had an idea where things would go, but I mean, it's it's all new and there's different, it's very similar to our last fan setup, um, but there's a lot more storage options and we weren't really sure. So the last couple of days we're like staring at it and moving things back and forth. So it's going to be a, a process of getting it to where it's going to be, but we're really happy with it. Um, if you go back to the, you know, a year ago when we were at the Humble Road shop for what, four or five months mm -hmm. in the build process and design process, we had this thing where we're, cardboard cutouts we basically built the whole van out of cardboard and walked around and played in it and and it's came out i mean it, exactly like we planned it yeah it, i mean i'm it, and beyond it, it met and, ex, and exceeded our expectations we're so happy with it it's you know living in our road trek zion srt we love the layout we had an amazing life in that van and we wanted this van to be very similar in the layout because we just really liked how that worked for us and the way we live and what we take with us and you know that sort of thing. So we took the best of that and made it what we thought was better for us. And this is it, our custom van. So this will be a it's quick awesome. kind of walk through. <laughs> and then as we get going, we've only had a couple days in this van, uh, maybe in a few months as we've used all the systems and we can report back and let you know how things are working out. But so far it's been fantastic. So Yeah, and if you haven't watched them already, um, a few days ago, um, George at Humble Road posted about a 40 minute detailed tour of this van, explanation of all the systems, the 600 amp lithium battery system the water heater how it all works um and it, that was all done before anything was in it so that mm -hmm. I, and also uh, patrick our friend from new jersey outdoor adventures 
he met with George and he also went through and did a, a tour. So they're both worth watching. I think we can put a link in there. Those yeah, videos, it'll be a much more thorough and technical walkthrough than what we're going to do right now. We're just going to walk through and show you the things that are the most exciting. So. Yeah, so if you haven't watched those videos, this will be just kind of the nuts and bolts of it. We have a great water heater system that yeah. that can heat through um, a closed um, system from the engine, the heat exchanger, or through an inverter, 600 amp lithium battery, 420 amps of solar, custom built a roof rack so I could have an awning and a kayak rack. We'll show you that in a minute. But let's go inside and get the sneak peek of what we did. All right, let's take a look. What a pistol. What are you doing there? She's happy. She's a happy girl. Well, speaking of pistol, she's got a few drawers. Well, first, let me show you the grain matched walnut throughout. Now this is George's son Alex. This is his handiwork here. Yeah, it's 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 walnut um, veneered plywood, but it's all been edge banded. Um, Alex, he's a, an amazing finished carpenter and just did a just a beautiful job on everything in here. Yeah. One of the things we asked him to do was um, I well at the while we're at the shop, I installed the swivel um, the swivel base for this seat because this is where I relax in the evening. This is my recliner. And there's a big space under here, and we had a you know, when when we take pistol out hiking and she gets dirty or muddy, and we have her leash and her wipes and all her food and snacks stuffed and crammed everywhere. I said, Can we put a drawer in there? So, this is what they did for us. Ta -da, it's a pistol drawer, she knows, she knows it drawer. too. <laughs> very, very sturdy drawer slides. Everything in here is just really high. Oh, yeah, top notch. Yeah. She also has two other drawers. One for her food and her meds. Yeah. <laughs> no. And then just another miscellaneous Maybe life we jacks. can work this down to two drawers, Pistol. You need to pare down on your stuff. She's That's the diva. Thing. She's the star of this show, so I don't know. So this overage part, we just have stuff crammed in here now. We're still not sure exactly how this is going to be and what it's going to, you know, what's going to be up here permanently. Um, we might put some sort of curtain that, that covers this. Yeah, I think so. Just... For George's sake, because... No, I don't like looking at that either. I think that's a good idea. So we'll figure out a lot of stuff we're going to figure out once we're in Oregon, you know, and we're in one spot and we have access to a sewing machine and we can kind of tinker on some stuff. But yeah. um, armoire, drawer, more drawers. Now, we primarily went with drawers because yeah. cupboards are kind of a pain to get yeah, in and out of. We didn't have... We had two drawers in our last fan and... The rest were like the kitchen cupboards and you open a kitchen cupboard up and you have to, you know, everything is in the back. And in fact, we, we rarely do like fish fry, but when we were going through our last van, we're pulling things out. We found three bags of fish fry. I mean, cause I don't know, it's just, there's stuff gets crammed because you can't see what's behind things. So this is the only cupboard door other than the armoire because of the plumbing we had to put cupboard here, but we designed it so our Vitamix blender would fit in there. It's perfect. And if you saw in the water fill, this is a, you know, we had some extra space between the water tank and here that we didn't, didn't want to waste. So I asked George if they could do this and he said, you betcha. Yeah. So the rest of this galley is all drawers and everything was measured. So this is kind of our coffee stuff drawer. We've got the pots were measured and there's one for the instant pot. Um, oh yeah, check this out. Pantry. This is really exciting. I have all my spices, some canned stuff. This whole actually holds a lot of stuff. Dresser. Yes. Um, over here is my dresser area. Big, this is a big, big drawer here. If you if you remember um, our, our road trek, we had a queen bed like this that we slept side to side, but it was lower and there was just space under it. So we had just a Rubbermaid container, just we'd slide in and mm -hmm. out under the bed. We, three and a half years, um, I don't think, maybe the first month we made it into a couch once or twice, but for over oh, three yeah. years, it was just a bed permanently because we always chase nice weather and we we would never find ourselves making the bed into a couch going through that to sit in the back of the van. We're always, you know, outside whenever possible. And besides, she's a lounger, so she likes to just lay in the bed and I get my recliner. I'm a lounger. She's a lounger, so. It's true. <clears throat> and then we we knew we had, we bought the, is it Novacool? Um, yes. We don't eat out much and we try to eat a real, you know, 
healthy diet and so we like a big fridge for lots of fruits and vegetables and so Irene did some research and found this yeah it's Nova Cool. Okay. I think it's like nine nine point one cubic feet between this and the freezer which a separate freezer is so amazing. I guess our previous um wait sorry I'm excited this has ice cubes I don't even use ice cubes that much, but I'm excited about ice cubes. <laughs> Our road trick had an awesome five cubic foot up fridge up high. We loved it. It was great, except the freezer was inside. So to get to the freezer, which was small, you had to open the fridge up. And it seemed like, I don't know how many times in those three and a half years I had to defrost that whole thing. Well, I we should have done it more often, but yes. Oh my God. It would get down to where I couldn't, the freezer would be like, closing up so it, this this should be a lot better but we're so, happy with it yeah this is huge this fits a ton of stuff some friends gave us some champagne yeah we're gonna have to crack that maybe open maybe i'll do that today yeah i think today's a good day to celebrate did we open this yet no oh i was gonna say we um we knew this was the size of our fridge and freezer and we wanted up high so we had some space down there and so we have a wabasto heating system that is um under there in the back and there's space in front of it. So George and Alex designed the, the Wobasto drawer system. So the Wobasto's in the back, the vent comes out here, the drawer will come up around it so you don't waste any space. Okay, now wait, this was initially supposed to be a laundry drawer, but I wanted more pantry space. So. Well, once we get more organized, it still may be once we get things, I mean, we're just kind of have things in drawers and it may work differently, but who knows? Yeah. But the one thing that's really nice about this is everything is, is um, airflow throughout the whole van and you can pop this out, you can work on the Wabasto. And same goes for everything in this van. Yeah. You can always take out something to work on everything, like all the lines. Um, back He's... to the galley, though, we didn't, we oh. forgot to show this pantry space here. This is the big drawer, uh, cupboard? Cupboard up here. Yeah. We used to have a, our microwave up there, but we really rarely used the microwave. I think we heat coffee up or something up once, once in a while. So we decided that it was a lot of wasted space for something we rarely use. So this is much better one thing i wanted to mention was we got there's really heavy duty slides on these on these drawer pulls so it takes some effort to open them up but um the goal was to see if we could not have to worry about latches and buttons and because uh, we if you followed our channel we we go off in the desert we go up in the mountains and um these are more secure than the latches we had on our two drawers before that never opened up in our other van. Mm -hmm. So um, two days of driving here, mountains and twisty roads and some evasive movers in the Walmart, Walmart parking lot. Nothing to open up except the bathroom door. So we still have to figure out, oh, I'm sorry. This was really heavy and it opened up and this opened up. So we got to figure out some way to latch these. And yeah, we got to give it some thought. We don't just yeah. want to throw something up there. Um, I just put a big old hook Luke on there. And... <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, we'll find out. We'll figure that we out. With the Max Air fan here, so it's airflow over the bathroom mm -hmm. and the galley here. The one feature we really liked in our road trek was when you're inside it was this similar to this board that mounts on this door. And we really, really begged Alex, could you please do this? For the new van too and i don't think he was too keen on it but he did it and he made it way better than the road trick um the way it works is when it's shut it's when you go inside it these magnets line up so you have a ton more space inside and so now you've got elbow room and we also used it when we showered on a road trick too because the the curtain would come over hangs down below here and then you can use something to push it up against the door here so you got much more room yeah so we are still working on storage solutions in here and a shower curtain we still got to get that figured out um we haven't even secured the toilet permanently to the floor i haven't cut the hose but it's all set up and we'll be using that soon we'll talk about that in the next video i guess yeah we'll set that that's up that's a new thing for us nature's head composting toilet so there's a learning curve with that for sure we'll find out um sorry we're kind of all over the place but back to the galley did we mention we went with induction double induction and no propane on board so no having to go to a dump station for black and no having to go get propane um also another cool thing about this is that it's this is cut out and dropped in but it's not 
in there permanently. So if we're ever somewhere in a situation where we wanted to take this outside, we just pop it out, unplug it, and then we cook with it oh, outside. Replace, easy to replace too. Oh, easy to replace too. Yeah. Okay, one more thing behind your head. I'm really excited about, sorry. I see my avocado tray. You guys check this out. Last van, this was all just standard the way the van door was, nothing there. And we always thought if there was just a little small shelf there, we could store like avocados in there. So Irene was telling George a year ago that if she had a little place, a little shelf or something, she could store av av avocados. So it became known as the avocado tray ever since. And I think they exceeded <laughs> their expectations on this uh, avocado tray and place for flashlights, headlamps and stuff like that. Yeah, but look at everything that's in here. I have an onion, two avocados, two apples, two oranges, half a loaf of bread. Imagine how much space this would take up if I didn't have this tray. I mean, do you remember all those bags and bungees we had hanging in the old van with fruit and things in them? Like it's incredible. This is pretty much all we have to deal with as far as gauges. This is our on off for inverter, 3000 watt inverter. And then this is our battery. And it's, it can be way more than I ever want to, but basically it's, you know, you can tell what, what percentage of battery is, how much volts you're bringing in. I mean, it's, it's, it's overwhelming how much information you can get out of that. So I just like to know what percent am I at? Um, and it stayed really full. So we, we installed, or we didn't, but we had installed the extra alternator uh, in the engine so anytime that anytime the engine's running that alternator is charging these batteries i think we we left we drove an hour and it charged from like 40 or 50 percent to 100 mm percent -hmm. in like an hour it was crazy um so yeah we've been running the air conditioner using the induction no issues at all and you just glance over and you can see what percent your battery is at which is just awesome then george you know he likes the marine world stuff and so we got the the water gauge which is handier than i thought it would be yes it's nice one more thing on the galley i see behind you is this massive sink you guys haven't seen this sink have you this came with the sink i'm still deciding whether i'm going to keep it or not i I've, I've liked it thus far but we'll see we're only a few days in look how jimongous this sink is see how far that goes it's like up to my elbow and this i have a nozzle water pump nozzle spray yeah so I, I wash my hair in the sink even with the shower this is where i wash my hair because it wastes much less water than doing it in the shower i think so and it gets hot quick they it, installed the the water heater is also from the marine world and you can use the inverter and use it uh, and heat the water electrically but you don't really need to because he built in a system with a reservoir and a closed loop system that runs up into a heat exchanger in the engine and so anytime the van is driving it's circulating and we drove an hour and the water was hot hot hot, hot water and let's like, just say that system's efficient it's, it's efficient <laughs> it's really efficient it uh yeah you and water hot water within seconds because the lines are so short yes it's not really wasteful with the water yeah it just and it's... everything is inside the van except just a short section of those um, that closed loop system goes just under the bottom of the van. Everything else, you know, water, all the water pipes, everything is, you know, we wanted a four season van. We don't go to cold weather, but if we do, we, we don't want to winterize because we've lived in our previous van. Winterized twice, never want to do that again. Never, never, never. Never, never, never. Okay, moving back. This is the bedroom area. <laughs> permanent bed we made the bed for you yeah we did make the bed for oh, you oh i wanted to mention well, yeah. back to the guy one more time Ooh, this is so hodgepodge is that okay yeah that's just us <laughs> um this is all marine vinyl the whole van and irene and george they went through colors and picked everything i didn't care um, but one thing i think we're probably going to do is i know aesthetically this is better but i may put um a stainless backsplash on here and we're we were up in the air on how we wanted to do this. Originally it was gonna be a you know, bulkhead all the way down, but we're trying to find a way to keep, you know, just the, you know, open and be able to see and, and you know, for aesthetics. Um, so we're thinking about some sort of wall that comes part way up that, you know, can fold up or down that can see every backsplash around here. So a lot of things that we just didn't know initially we wanted to see first. So hopefully we can get something like that, that, that works, but yeah, for now, for now it works good. Yeah, yep. 
so let me show you something fun in this bedroom now this bed is a six inch memory foam bed we got on amazon you can find it on our um web page under products we use but it has been so comfortable i was so scared driving throwing everything in there and driving off to sleep in it for the first night it's a six inch memory foam like i'm gonna be on a hard plywood sunk down and miserable but i was blown away no and let me show you the lighting back here it's light outside so you can't really tell but there's some nice lighting here and we also have some reading lights one on each side but then we have some red mood lighting check that out that's all she's gonna say about that <laughs> Also, something really cool we haven't shown you yet is this step. So this bed is pretty high to get into. Yeah, so at, at night you just flip on um, this switch and so you have a red light that comes down here that doesn't mess up your night vision. So. And also that red light is connected to this red light. So it's a night light, so. Yeah, it's really cool. However, I used it last night and it's not that bright right there, but when it was dark in the van, it was like gl glowing. <laughs> it was so glowing red in here that I'm gonna have to cover part of it up or something. Cause it was like, it was, it was bright. It did its job. It did its job. <laughs> but this was, this was so awesome. Cause you just get up and it's, you know, and everything's shut down. So it's pitch black. Don't want to turn the light on so that was just real nice to, and it just this one light lit up the whole floor and i'm sure it'll light up just you know enough to see everything it was it's pretty cool yeah and also the step i the other day found myself i was just like grabbing something to eat really quick and i just sat here and ate while he ate up there so we do this yeah we do this <laughs> Um, what else in here? Oh, we have some more storage up above the bed, as you see. Um, still working on getting that organized, but um, yeah, I think we're getting everything to fit, which is great. Yeah, and everything is in a drawer or in a cupboard in its own place, not hung off a wall. And Exactly. My garage is still a disaster. Should we show them the garage? Let's take it outside. Yeah. Okay, so we built the, the bed height specifically so we could have two bike trays a mountain bike and a road bike that we could put under the bed on complete um full slide out drawers um but i i wasn't sure yet how i wanted to secure the bikes in there so right now they're on the sleds where they're going to be but they're not mounted they're just tied in there and they're just going to be like that till they get back to oregon until i forgot exactly how i'm going to do those so they're you can see them yep let's sit. let's take a back then. so here's my garage Look at that. Look how big, look how beautiful that is. The previous van, the bed was down to here and just had an open area that went part way back. And just, if you wanted one thing, it was always behind the other thing. So uh, the goal is to have everything in its place. So as you can see, these are tied in now, but um, this will be mounted um, up. So you can just pull this, this slide all the way out. I believe they're like 500 pound drawer slides. All, yeah, all I think so. Um, can you not slide those out, the middle these, ones? Yeah, these. Oh, look at that. Everything I want. So I'm gonna be using this today. This is our, our propane gas stove. I'm not gonna use the oven today. If you've seen our videos, you know that we do a lot of baking in our camp oven. And Look at that. I'm really impressed how that's packed. Yeah, and so then her lawn chair, we have trekking poles and lawn chairs. I'm not sure how that's gonna work, but this was designed just for that purpose. This, I got them out. I, I wanted this because we have a we don't have it now we're getting a new one but we use a, a really thin like astroturf and you get like a eight by eight sheet of that fold it in half four foot and roll it up and then you put it in here oh because you want it sealed to keep the bugs out you uh, roll up that camp mat throw it under your bed and all the critters come find you so that's just sealed for that so yeah the road bike Mountain bike, it actually reversed too. You can do both or you could put two mountain bikes or two road bikes. Um, this is all the battery system. It's all big stuff. Real high tech stuff. 
Yep. That's, someone else's video. <laughs> That's not our department. All the water stuff's over there. We were real careful when we designed everything as, as far as weight. Um, like heavy battery system, you know, weighing what the 40 gallon water tank would be on that side, and the battery system. And, and I'm... I was really impressed when we calculated the weight for what, how even it came out. And it drives really nice, so mm -hmm. I'm happy with that. Um, sorry, pause. One thing I wanted to show, because it's behind your head, I keep seeing things behind your head. When this door is shut, this is right at my bed height, and this is a little shelf that Alex built in for me. So I could have, uh, you know, a bottle of water, I put my phone charger there, maybe a little fan. Yep. really really cool right yeah, and we chose we chose the van without windows because um, we wanted to be well insulated and we never used the back windows anyway so um, we just insulated the van really well put these on here in our previous van we had lots more windows but we kept them all sealed up except the one by our head and the one on the sliding door so we get circulation um, some people will sit in their vans and stare outside we just We'd rather have the privacy when we're in the van because usually that's at night and then we'll go sit out in the lawn chairs. We're and... outside and yeah, stare outside. Yeah, we're outside. <laughs> it's pretty much cook and sleep in here. Yeah, so those are C.L. Lawrence. Is it C.L. Lawrence? I think so. Windows? Yeah, we had installed in New Jersey. But yeah, we're super stoked. Let's take them around to the rest of the outside goodies. The next thing we really liked on the road check was the outdoor shower. It was on the other side, but... Uh, we use it all the time for giving pistol a bath or i would take a shower or just rinse my bikes off or whatever um in fact i'm going to take a shower here i just got back from a run a little bit ago and i'm going to use this for a shower but irene found this um it's uh aqua is it our website yeah that's also on our website yeah carry on vagabond we have a products page of things we use and we actually have a products a section of all the things we use to build the van that's mm -hmm. at least the amazon links. some of the stuff yeah amazon links so this was i mean it's a pretty amazing little thing you just when you when you put this in that activates it so now there's water and what what we did was instead of running a hot and a cold um george installed a, a tempering mixer a mixer sorry uh, george installed a mixer with the hot and water so we can set the temperature so it's kind of a nice warm shower so we can use for a pistols bath and we need to take a shower and just comes out at that right now it's it's shower warm right now wow but then you can hook your hose to it wash your bike take a shower so that's yeah. a really cool feature i know we're going to use that a lot and then we do need to get the zoning out. I designed this roof rack. It was something I've probably been building in my head for over a year. I wanted a roof rack that was, um, I wanted to use the large Fiamma wall mount awning. And I wanted the roof rack to be just over it high enough that I could install kayak racks that don't interfere with it. So I can put a kayaks on there and still use the awning. So I was pretty happy when, uh, when it, we got it all built and it all worked so i didn't go with the motor this time so we'll see i did wire it so we can use the motor but kayak on one side and then the other side is 420 amps of solar or 420 watts of solar panels We use the awning on our last band all the time. Well. There's your peak. There's your peak. And like we mentioned, we'll just get going. And as we use all the systems, we'll report back how efficient they are so far. Really efficient. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll get, we'll get more organized. And... We're ready to just get back to our normal life of travel and exploring places and having great adventures. Because... Our life has never been about the van. The van has been something that's just been our vessel to get places and, and do things. It seems like this last year, life has been about the van. Mm -hmm. And I, I just want, I just want. It's our lunchtime. You want to see. It's the van's just, I just want to get back to where the van isn't the main focus of our life. And it's just like a, a thing that works well, that we love to live in and travel in. But 
get back to the outdoors and hiking and seeing what this great country and maybe some other countries have to offer. Yeah. It's uh, so nice to be back. We're back. We'll be posting regularly. We have lots of things to do to show you. Hiking and more projects on this van, mud flaps and all kinds of stuff we need to do. Um, I'm excited that we're actually, this is going to be, we're heading, we're in Pennsylvania now, we're heading west, we're going to wait towards Oregon. This will be our 10th trip east-west across this continent mm -hmm. and we'll be going through some states and all roads we've never been on before at least until we get back to Oregon pretty crazy yeah so fun back roads of America our good friend Susanna Tom congratulated us by uh, giving us a, a really really nice bottle of champagne I think today's the day should we so pop I think, that? Well, we should just pop that and I think we forgot to pack the, the our best china. Actually, we forgot to pack all our china. We forgot the champagne flutes. Mm. Does champagne is champagne drinking flutes or glasses? How about out of a champagne coffee mug? Champagne is drank in a clean coffee cup. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Lyle. Carry, Carry on. on.